Hello everyone. This is the fourth and last question of exercise 12.2. And in this question, we have to check whether these statements are in proportion or not. Now we know how to check whether they are in proportion or not. And then later on, if these terms or these statements are in proportion, we have to check and or we have to write the middle and extreme terms of it. So first we'll check whether they are in proportion or not. First of all, part A. It says that 25 centimeter ratio 1 meter. Now, in order to com compare the ratios, what we have to check that they should have same units. So these two are not having similar units. That's why we'll change this meter into centimeter or centimeter into meter, whatever is easy. Now, to convert meter into centimeter is much easier than to convert centimeter into meter. So, we'll write this as 25 centimeter upon 100 centimeter. 1 meter equals 100 centimeter. The ratio comes out to be 1 ratio 4. And on the right hand side, it says 40 rupees ratio 60 rupees. So, the ratio will be 40 upon 60. 40 upon 160. 160 rupees. So, 4, 4 times. This will again come out to be 1 ratio 4. So, these two ratios are equal. That means, these, this statement is in proportion. Now, we have to write the middle and extreme terms. Now, the two terms at the center are the middle terms. And these two terms are at extreme corners. So, they are the extreme terms. So, MT means middle term. That is, we have to write this with the unit 1 meter and 40 rupees. So these two are the middle terms and ET means extreme terms. They are 25 centimeter and 160 rupees. Now coming to part B. 39 meters ratio 65 meters. So 39 upon 65. 13 3 times, 13 5 times, so this is 3 ratio 5 and 6 bottles ratio 10 bottles. So 6 upon 10 that is 2 3 times, 2 5 times, 3 ratio 5. Now this ratio and this ratio is equal to each other means they are in proportion. Now we will write the middle and extreme terms. So I can directly write it here, these two are the middle terms. This one is extreme term and this one is also extreme term. Means middle term is 65 liters and 6 bottles. Extreme term is 39 liters and 10 bottles. Now coming on to part C. 2 kgs ratio 80 kgs. So the ratio will be 2 upon 80. That is 1 ratio 40. And here it is. 25 grams ratio 625 grams. The ratio will be 25 upon 625. So this is 1 ratio 25. Now these two ratios are not equal to each other. Means this statement is not in proportion. So this statement 3 is not in proportion. That's why we won't be writing the middle and extreme terms of it. Because if two ratios are in if two ratios are in proportion, that means product of mean is equal to the product of extreme. So in this case, they are not in proportion. So we won't be writing middle and extreme terms. And in the last part, that is part D, 200 milliliters ratio 2.5 liters. So 200 milliliter upon. We'll convert this liter into milliliter and that will be 2500 milliliter. So this gets cancelled out and the ratio is 2 ratio. 25 because the unit here is liter and the unit here is milliliter. So in order to cancel them out, we have to change this liter into milliliter or this milliliters into liter. Similarly, for the right hand side, the ratio is 4 upon 50. That is again 2 ratio 25. So 2 times and 225. So these two ratios are equal to each other means the last one is in proportion. Now the middle term will be 2.5 meters and 4 rupees. 
and the extreme terms will be equals to 50 rupees and 200 milliliter. I hope you understood this video. This is how you can solve this question. For any queries or doubts, you can contact us through our YouTube channel or through our website that is www.trumas.com. Thank you.